Less than a week after the start of Shia LaBeouf's non-stop anti-Trump livestream, he will not divide us. The space has become an online target for Donald Trump supporters and neo-Nazis. BuzzFeed has detailed reports on groups congregating on 4chan and chat platform Discord to disrupt the peaceful exhibit in real life. 4chan. Uh-oh. They call themselves anonymous. They are hackers on steroids, treating the web like a real-life video game, sacking websites, invading MySpace accounts, disrupting innocent people's lives. And if you fight back, watch out. Well, what's the worst that could happen? I mean, what can these hackers on steroids, this internet hate machine, really... Oh. Oh. I did not see that coming. I don't think Shia did either. Arrested? Arrested at your own gay art exhibit? How the fuck do you accomplish that? You will not divide us. 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 Optimistic little retards, aren't they? Call me crazy, but I think having a prison cell between the two of you counts as divided. That might be that might be considered divisive. I think you've lost this one. I don't know if your mantra is going to save his ass. He's He has been divided from you. You've lost that battle. For those of you who are unfamiliar, Shia LaBeouf is a rather well-known individual. He gained his fame from his early wrestling days. He was an amateur wrestler in the preteen cage match division. He never won the title. He wasn't very good at it. But people liked his charisma. They liked his chutzpah. But seriously, though, uh, Shia is a famous actor. You've probably watched the shows and the movies he's been in. He's most uh, famous for having starred in a particular franchise about talking vehicles, Knight Rider. Very big in the 80s. I don't know if you've seen it, but it was a fantastic show, and Shia was the star of it. And yet, here he is, standing outside the Museum of Moving Pictures in New York, talking to a camera saying, he will not divide us. It's a little art project that him and Jaden Smith cooked up. You might remember Jaden. He's the more retarded of Will Smith's two children. And this was their art project. They were planning on doing this for four years. Four straight years of saying, he will not divide us into a camera nonstop to protest Donald Trump. Of course, there was just one small problem, a little hiccup in their grand scheme of things. They decided to do this outdoors and allow the public to participate which I'm sure anybody can surmise was a terrible fucking idea. It's what led to Shy being driven insane. Now, Jaden, for his part, would show up for a few minutes each day, stare blankly into the camera, maybe give a half-hearted he will not divide us, and basically look like a confused, gender-queer, transsexual individual who doesn't know what the fuck is going on. I blame Scientology. I blame Scientology and Will Smith's shitty rapping. Shia, on the other hand, would wander the grounds like a vagrant, showing up every few hours, disheveled, smelly, dirty, looking like he'd shot heroin. I didn't say he shot heroin. I can't say that. But I can say he looks like he did. Shia LaBeouf looks like he abuses drugs on a daily basis. So there they are, Jaden getting jiggy with his hormone treatments and Shia looking like a lost homeless man. Two rich, liberal celebrities, virtue signaling to the public about how aware they are of the world's problems. This obnoxious art project, which is really just a way for them to Flate themselves. It's an ego boost. It's a way to show everybody how intelligent and tuned in to things they are. But they made the critical mistake of leaving it open to the public. And so what happens? Well, the inevitable happens. The thing that anybody with common sense would see coming a mile away happens. The public shows up to fuck with a couple of idiot celebrities. And that first day, that first day was magical. It was full of people just showing up and flashing something to the camera. A few pepes, a little bit of keck some Chatelet, but it had a noticeable effect almost immediately on Shia. So I want to take you on a journey, a descent into madness, as Shia LaBeouf loses his fucking mind because of a little green frog and a couple of in real life shit posters. <laughs> Now, one of the interesting things about how this entire event was set up is that when Jaden or Shia weren't there, it, it was pretty apparent that there were people connected to the museum itself or to the project itself that were trying to chaperone behavior. And you could notice that on the first day and the first evening. Because anytime somebody started to step out of line a little bit, they'd try to reel them back in. 
And that first day, it was, it was fairly fun. It was very laid back. But people were proving a point that you could totally fuck with Shia LaBeouf. And he couldn't really do anything about it. He will not divide us. A lot of people criticize us. He will not divide us. Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. He will not divide us. It was fantastic. Oh, yeah. He will not divide us. 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 You're given a microphone, it's a privilege. Use it for what it's worth. You know like your many, white privilege? You know no, you will not divide it. it. You check your white it. privilege. Do you know why you have to be a check by white privilege? You will not divide us. You will not divide us. Shia LaBeouf is a rich white liberal who doesn't what care does about the working what, class. Clearly he this cares is an art he project designed. This is an art mother project mother designed to get attention. It doesn't matter what Shia LaBeouf is. is. Shia LaBeouf oh, gave you the, the ability. I'm going to be 24. And you are 24. You're a few free. I'm going to be And that, that's the reaction I'm talking about. That guy that keeps, keeps getting involved. He keeps telling him, hey, hey now. Can't you read the placard that's on the wall? Can't you see that you need to recite the mantra that has been written by our god king, Shia LaBeouf? How, how dare you say something that's not, that's not written on that wall? What, what are you doing? Is that a little speaker? Whose speaker is that? Oh, Shia LaBeouf. What are you doing? Whose speaker is this? A high end medical camp Shia LaBeouf. By the second day, things started to get a little more interesting. People were upping their game a little bit. It's, it's beautiful. The Museum of Keck. Now, I don't know how familiar Shia was at the time with Pepe or Keck, but he's going to become very familiar with it over the course of this day and the next day. This is also the first time that Shia finally begins to get violent. Now, this is only two days into this. I want you to understand, he was going to do this for four years. Four years. This is day number two, and he's already going after somebody. This is the same guy from yesterday. Came back today with a little sign that says Pepe. And Shia loses his shit. And it doesn't just end there. He chases him down the street. Shia chases this guy down the street for saying Pepe and holding up a sign. That's enough to send him over the edge. And it just gets worse from there. One thing to take note of is the difference between the daytime and the nighttime. During the day, you get all the liberal retards out there that stare at a wall and chant, he will not divide us. But at night, all the fun people come out. It's the nighttime that's more lively. This is a bag anon reporting in. Faggotry has ceased. He will not divide us, because I got the hepatitis. <laughs> We walk and talk like you. We are among you. He will not divide us. That first couple of nights, Shia wasn't really out there a ton. He came out a little bit, but not a lot. But after that second night, after his arduous day of dealing with Keck and Pepe, and seeing all these shit posters dancing around and mocking his crappy little art project, he started coming out at night. He began to keep almost a 24-hour vigil on this dumb fucking thing because he couldn't let them go out there and do what they wanted to do. That's not how Shia rolls. When he wants to do something, he does it. Do it! Just do it! Don't let your dreams be dreams. Yesterday, you said tomorrow. So just do it! Make your dreams come true! Just do it! Now the third day, that's where it starts to get good. Shia, when he's not inspecting men's penises, is out and about. He's milling around with the other liberals as they hop up and down with their soulless little eyes, chanting their mantra, he will not divide us as he camera films them staring at a fucking wall. And along comes trouble. 
It's one of those goddamn neo-Nazi 4chaners that BuzzFeed's been telling me all about. By now, it had become crystal clear that Shia LaBeouf cannot take the banter. Look at him. He is a raging lunatic. That second day, he already had chased somebody down the street. We're on day number three now, and he's screaming in people's ears, and he chases this guy as well. He cannot handle it, yet he puts himself in the situation repeatedly, getting angrier and angrier and angrier as each day comes to a close. And that very night, people were out once again, doing what they usually do. Fucking with Shia, trying to get a reaction out of him. Yo, Shia LaBeouf, if you're watching this right now... <laughs> Yo, fuck you, Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf, come down here, you fucking faggot. Now, he had been stalking around. He'd been coming out all throughout the evening. But every time people showed up, he disappeared, stunning and brave. Stunning and brave. By this point, it wasn't just Shia that was starting to crack under the pressure. It was his little flock of cultists as well. They started to buckle under the constant assault of Pepe. He will not divide us. He will not divide us. He will not divide us. He will not get the fuck up! Get the fuck up! Get the fuck up! Get the fuck up! That little green frog is just too fucking much for them to handle. So with all this animosity growing between Shia and his cultists and normal people there to laugh at a dumb fuck celebrity in his stupid little art project, it was inevitable that something bad was going to happen. And happen it finally did. Here at the He Will Not Divide Us exhibit, and some guy posting a phony, phony claim that Shia assaulted him. So he went up uh, to me, between me and the camera, and we were saying we were not the buyers, we were repeating the mantra to each other. Okay. And then he goes and like this suddenly on top of me to push my stock down. Basically feel like him touch you? Yes, twice. And then the second time he went and he pulled on my scarf and that's when I fell because he was choking me. When he went like this and I went fell to the ground. Going for the hat trick. Three assaults in a row. That's that's a record there, champ. Way to, way to go. By the way, this is the one that got him arrested. Detective Navarro said that the police were called in after Mr. LaBeouf got into an argument with another man at the installation, pulled off the man's scarf, and in the process scratched his face. The man did not need to be hospitalized, the detective said. But the funniest part about it isn't that Shia has assaulted multiple people, isn't that he's been driven insane, isn't that he got arrested for scratching somebody's face. No, this is the funniest part. I don't like being in front of cameras. I don't like being, but I like, I'm still there to show solidarity. All right, no problem. Yeah, that's right. In his sped rage, when he was spurging the fuck out, he attacked one of his own. This guy was there to show solidarity. Shia LaBeouf assaulted somebody who was there to support him. Let's give him a round of applause. Come on. That deserves, that deserves some accolades. Good job, Shia. So in the end, all it really took were a few Pepe's, a couple Keks, a little bit of dance into Chatelet, a few in real life shit posters, and Shia LaBeouf has been driven to assault somebody who supports him. That is amazing. Now, I don't know if he plans on continuing this. I don't know if he's going to go back and keep doing it, or if common sense is going to kick in and tell him, hey, retard, you're losing any shred of credibility or respectability you might still have in life. But if he were to continue with this, the one piece of advice I would offer is this. Shoah, if you can't take the heat, get out of the oven.